So I just saw a post on Facebook that I really wanted to share with you all, even though I know most of you won't understand it. <clears throat> um, here's the thing that I need people to understand. I am permanently disabled. I am not magically going to get better and be able to be a functioning member of society. That's not a possibility at this point. People get tired of you being sick. When you first become ill, they will show you sympathy. They'll send you cards in hopes you get well soon. They'll call or text to check in and see how you're doing. They'll cut you slack. They'll be understanding when you have trouble keeping up. But once your illness becomes a chronic condition, they wonder why you can't get better. They show impatience and frustration. They stop trying to include you in plans, and they ask why you aren't trying harder. They don't get it. They just want you to be abled again so you're not inconveniencing them. People get tired of you being sick, but they don't stop to think that you're probably tired of being sick too. They don't take the time to think about how you'd love to just get over it. They don't care enough to realize you didn't choose this. One of the comments is also kind of... Even people with the same illness, if yours is more severe at the time or combining poorly with your other illnesses, then they wonder how they do so well while you're a pitiful mess. They'll think you're a bad and lazy person. It really feels like you can't befriend anyone, even those with your condition, because unless they have the most empathy, they will disregard your illness just as others do. That's what I'm facing right now, is everybody is looking at me as a healthy, normal, able-bodied woman who has chose this life. I am not that person. I am permanently disabled. I had CPTSD before the murder. No, it's at one point I said I would I wish that you guys knew me before I had PTSD, but it's actually impossible for anybody to know me before I had PTSD because I've always had PTSD. I've had PTSD from childhood, from that first time that my grandmother took me back to my parents, and I had to experience the hell that was that house, and the 18 years growing up in that house. My cousins want to judge me and say that I had the best of everything. They were not in my home. They did not grow up in the same environment to understand what it's like. And pointing at my sisters and saying, well, they're not acting like you. They used to. They got better. I kept falling down because I had no support and bad things kept happening, making it worse. You cannot compare your illness to somebody else's illness. Because they're not the same. My mental illness is not going to just go away. I'm not just going to be able to be a normal person. Because you guys bullied me enough to fix me.